What's up everybody? It's Common Sense of Best coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about what E-Trade done this morning by taking the buy and the sell button. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But boy, is AMC on a terror. Huh? I'm watching this thing all morning and I am just getting more and more excited. Now, I don't have what I used to have, but I'm satisfied. Uh, Donahue just messaged me. I think we're fixing to see life changing money. And I told him, I said, well, it wouldn't take much to change my life. Oh, I'm so happy, though, that we're finally look like we're getting here. It's the cat system that is scaring the shit out of these people right now. And you remember me talking to y'all about all these shares sold but not yet purchased? See, it's not just Citadel Virtue. You got Citigroup I went and found that they got shares sold that they hadn't purchased and so forth. So all these major banks and everything, they are just as guilty of selling shares that they don't own. All right? And I think the rubber has finally met the road. I am stoked and ready for this thing to pop off. I'm going to tell you all something else, too, before we get into E-Trade. Is this is where I was three years ago, practically, okay? I was in AMC as a recovery play. I bought in at around 190-something, right at $2. When it ran up to five, I sold, all right? And I thought I was a stock market genius, all right? And then when it fell back down to three, I bought in again. When it ran up to seven, I sold. And that's 200% profit. I was so excited. And then the next day I wake up, and it's at 12, and then 20, and then 50, and then 72. And I didn't have any idea about no squeeze. But this time, oh no, motherfuckers. Y'all not shaking me out of this. I told Donahue, I've got one little bitty option that I put off to the side here. I'm watching it go up. We're up over 200% right now on it. But it ain't much. It's going to bring in about 50 bucks. No big deal. All right, now let's talk about E-Trade. I have an E-Trade account. I seen word that I heard word that E-Trade wouldn't let you log in. And as I'm watching this price, I'm like, ain't no use going to look over there in E-Trade right now. That's a long ways away. But when I went to go log in, it wouldn't let me log in. Now, in my opinion... That's taking my buy button and my sell button. When you won't let me log into my account, I can't do either one. If I wanted, if this option was over in E-Trade instead of Moo Moo, I could not have logged in if I wanted to sell it for 200% profit. That's messed up. But let me explain why they're doing what they're doing, all right? Because you can get ready for it. It's going to be like a rolling blackout. If y'all followed me for a while, then y'all know what I mean by financial rolling blackout. Each different brokerage firm or clearinghouse is going to take a moment in time where you're not going to be able to buy or sell. They'll use whatever excuse they want to use. They have problems with their servers. They had so much volume coming in and all these other excuses to not let us log into them accounts, one day it'll be Weeble. The next hour it might be Moo Moo. But what they're going to do, I call that financial rolling blackouts. They're taking turns. And what they're taking turns doing, I believe, it's just my opinion, is that when they shut down the logging in to your accounts or you can't sell or buy, what they're doing is they're re-upping their cash and getting ready for the next run, all right? Basically, like I texted Donahue and I told him, I said, liquidity issues? Did they get margin called over there at E-Trade? And they said, hey, so they said, turn everything off. Don't let nobody log in. Nobody can buy or sell until we raise some more money. That's what I believe is going on over at E-Trade today. Tomorrow it might be, you're gonna try to log in your Fidelity account. <laughs> Nope, you ain't going to be able to log in. Why? Liquidity issues. They're having to sell shit to re-up, to cover their margin calls, and the shit's about 
to get real. All right? And I'm totally convinced that what we're seeing here could possibly be, all right, those smaller devils that sold shares but did not purchase them are starting to say, hey, we don't want to get fucked up here because if this thing runs up to 50 and 60 and 70 like before and higher possibly, they're cashing out now before the cat system can burn their ass. Just my opinion. So that's what I think happened to my E-Trade account today. I believe they had liquidity issues, wouldn't let nobody log in until they could re-up some money, and then that, then now I can log in. But it's too late now. My option was up 200%, and I couldn't get an account if I had it in there. Love y'all. Be blessed. Just get ready for the roller coaster ride, and I'll see you in the next video.